All right, now that we have day one over with, hopefully it wasn't too hard for you getting those 100 push-ups done as well as getting those six goals written down, three short-term goals and three long-term goals need to, need to be completed within 30 days and 120 days respectively. And this is actually a good thing for most of us because I feel like we don't set goals enough in our regular day-to-day -day lives. So this, this is gonna be good for us, okay? So let's move on to day two. So day two's challenge is something that's essentially not too challenging as well, and it's called stop avoiding it. And all too often, many of us have projects, we have activities or things that we wanna get done, but we end up procrastinating, we end up prolonging it because we feel like maybe we're just not ready, we don't feel like doing it. And so day two's challenge is to essentially just stop avoiding it and just get it done. So make sure you get your 100 push-ups completed and again, reminding that it doesn't have to be done in one specific time frame. You could, you could spread this out between morning, afternoon, evening, or if you feel like you're strong enough, just get it all done right away, right? And so one of my goals that I set yesterday for day one, short-term goal was that I want to start creating my physical therapy uh, video project on YouTube. And it's primarily to, treat, to teach people how to treat very common ailments. So things like sciatica, low back pain, and I've been kind of prolonging this project because I am afraid, right? I am afraid, we're all afraid of starting this new thing because we feel like we're not good enough. I am not credible enough to teach people how to treat sciatica, for example. But in actuality, I am because one, I'm a physical therapist. This is something that I generally see from a regular basis. And so it's that feeling where it's like, you know, it has to be perfect. Everything has to be perfect before I can get this thing started. So after I'm done shooting this introductory day two video, I'm gonna go ahead and just do a little bit of research to kind of make sure I know what I wanna talk about so that you know if this is gonna be for general audience members who, have, who are dealing with this pain. So I'm gonna get that started starting now. All right. All right, so day two is coming to a close and I easily pretty much did my 100 push-ups within like a matter of an hour. I mean, I did 50 in like five minutes, did 30 the first set, rested for about two or three minutes and then did another you know, 20, did 50, so I was already halfway there. And I just, I just did the other 50 once I got home from work. And as far as me going for it and doing the thing that been holding me back for, I guess a month now, I actually took it a step further and decided to do an introductory video for my physical therapy playlist for my YouTube channel. And my goal wasn't to necessarily finish everything by today. So I did start to set my sciatica video, starting with basically what the description is, like what is sciatica, what are the causes, what are the risk factors, and some of the things that you can do to treat it. So my next step that I wanna do is create basically the treatment side or the intervention side for how to basically treat sciatica. So this, this is basically gonna teach people how to perform certain stretches, certain exercises uh, pertaining to strengthening the core and abdominal muscles, as well as strengthening the lower extremity as far as the hip abductors and your glutes. So I have pretty much everything laid out and good to go. I'm, I'm actually kind of excited and glad that I got this started because I always felt like I just wasn't ready to do it. Meaning like I had everything had to be perfect before I could basically get this program or this project started. But you know what? I did get it started and it made me feel good actually. Felt really good. So I'm not, in sh I'm not too sure what's in store for us for day three, but I'm actually looking forward to it. Uh, tomorrow's Friday and we'll see what this Mr. Hunter Drew has for us for day three on Friday. Until then, I'm hopefully you're sticking with the program and hopefully you got the thing that you've always wanted to do handled as well, all right? So stick around and I'll see you again for day three.